Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to The Play. I'm Dave Morris. We'll preview a few stories you can find in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online right here at NewsOK.com. We start with the director of Oklahoma's prison system saying Monday that the Department of Corrections intends to be ready for an upcoming execution, but the agency staff needs time to be trained on new protocols. Department of Corrections Director Robert Patton's remarks a few days after a state investigation into the boxed execution of Clayton Lockett recommended an overhaul of Oklahoma's lethal injection process, including improvements in training, communication, and creating a backup plan. More video on that can be found online at newsok.com. Bishop McGinnis High School in Oklahoma City has filed a lawsuit against the Oklahoma Secondary School Activities Association regarding rules governing private schools, their success race, and their classification. The school announced Monday it's filed a federal lawsuit to challenge the rule that says, quote, unfairly targets private high schools and forces student athletes to compete against teams from schools six times their size. More on that story online right now at News OK. Frank Shannon will remain suspended instead of enrolled at the University of Oklahoma. The Oklahoma State Supreme Court took action Monday, allowing OU to enforce its one-year suspension of the junior linebacker. Shannon was suspended one year by OU after he was found to have violated the school's Title IX sexual misconduct policy. As first reported by the Oklahoman in April, a female student alleged that Shannon sexually assaulted her at her off-campus apartment in late January. Just spoke with the Oklahoman's Jason Kiersey about that. You can find that video interview online at News OK. Both Bob Stoops and Mike Gundy held their weekly press conferences today. And guess what? You can watch them online later today at News OK as well. Let's turn to weather. Expect a hot day Tuesday in Oklahoma, but perhaps for the last time this summer, a cold front moves in on Wednesday, bringing cooler temperatures and rain. The state fair starts Thursday, so of course there's rain in the forecast. Again, these stories and more in the Oklahoma and where else online at newsok.com. Have a great Monday night, everyone.